Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nelroy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back from the vlog, y'all. All right, check, check it out, y'all. I'm back at the Jetties, man. Why are you back at the Jetties right now? Because I got some new toys, and I'm trying to show them off. Check it. Check it, y'all. Let's see, hold on. Look at that, boy. Look at that. I got a new Jetty cart on. Jetty slash beast cart. Look at me shine, baby. Check out them rims. Now, these are 22-inch rims, all right? 22 inches. All right, I'm lying, they like eight. But I keep them clean though, I keep them clean. I got me a new cooler back with my ice. I got a fresh, very fresh, nice baked bucket for my shrimp, you know what I'm saying? We coming down, man, we upgrading here, man. We upgrading 2001, check it. What, what? Yeah, man, so like I said, man, I got some new Jetty toys. We're gonna see what we can do, man. So today's goal was to show off my new stuff, but look, Ain't nobody here. I'm the only person. So with that being said, I have one goal. A couple of goals. Either catch a 20 plus inch trout, catch a Papano, or a slot red. I think I can do it. Enjoy the vlog. Let go! I like how you're channel, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Nice to meet you. What's, nice to meet you, Ivan. What's your name? Ivan. Ivan? Nice to meet you, Ivan. Alright, y'all. Just met a subscriber. This is my good spot right here, y'all. We gotta change GoPro battery after this one. Oh, that was a good bite. That was a good bite. Oh my God. Adjusting my glasses. Adjusting my glasses and it got me. I can't believe that, bro. You have to wait till I took my glasses before you did that to me. That's cold blooded, bro. Cold blooded. There we go. We got her. We got her. What the hell is that? What is that? What is that? No, what the hell is that? What is that? New species alert. Alright y'all, um, new species. I don't know what the heck this is. I'm scared to test it because I don't know if it's poisonous. But can I get a fish ID? What is this? Can you ask him what this is? Whatever it is, it's piss. I caught it on live shrimp. I don't know if it's poisonous. I don't know if you can eat it. I'm gonna put it back. I wouldn't mind eating it though, but I don't wanna die because I don't know what it is. Let's put it back. Yeah, let's put it back. New species alert. There she go, there she go. There she go. Oh, we got a flounder, baby. Oh my God, it's a flounder. We got a flounder. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 we might have a clipper flounder, y'all. I would say this is um first flounder of 2021, baby. We got an 18 inch flat boy. Yes, let's go. 18 inch flat boy. Beautiful fish, man. Got her on the bobber. 
live shrimp. I don't know if this is the thing that's been taking my bait, but I'm happy with it, man. So beautiful specimen. 18 inch flounder, close flounder of 2021. I know what I'm gonna make with this. This is gonna be amazing catch, clean, and cook. You know what I'm about to do. Let go! All right, y'all, so I'm back at home and back in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the first catch segment of the vlog. Man, I was super shook to catch that flounder. I was not expecting it because I've never caught a flounder before at the jetty. First time. And also, this is my first flounder of 2021. So as soon as I caught it, I knew exactly what I wanted to do in the kitchen with it and it's try something that I've never tried before. Ceviche. Yes, that Chris ceviche, okay? So yeah, everybody told me, man, you need to try this flounder ceviche. So I'm gonna try it out, man. I'm gonna try it out. And we can see what we can do. But first thing first, let's try to fillet it all right y'all so here is the star of our show this is that flounder that we caught such a weird looking creature as you know man it looks thick but turn look at that that's why they call it a flat boy that is crazy all right anyway so um yeah y'all so this is the star of the show um this is the 18 inch flounder um disclaimer i have not played many flounders in my fishing career in addition it's been about six months since I, you know, filleted my last one. So I'm just gonna do what I remember, okay? Now there's many ways to fillet a flounder, okay? But I'm just gonna do the way I remember myself. So what we're gonna do is come behind the fin here and go towards the head as so. Oh man, it's slippery. You might have to put a towel under him. All right, gotta get through that skin. Go towards the head bone. Just follow this head, his jawline, just like that. All right, so next up, y'all. Flounder have like a natural indention or a line, like right along their body. It's like they were meant to be eaten and God put a way that you know where to, you know, cut them at. So once again, like right here along that line, that's what we're gonna follow. So we put a slit, top of the head here, and I'm just gonna go follow right down that line with your fillet knife. You can kind of feel the spine as you go down. All the way to the tail. Okay. Now at this point, y'all, with your fillet knife, you're gonna just start working your way along that spine towards the top of the fish. Okay, hold on, try not to kill myself. You'll hit that rib cage. Something about that noise is just so satisfying to me. Is that weird? There we go. Come along, just slowly open that rib cage. You're gonna come, just slightly, take your time, man. You do not have to be all impressive with people to try to flay your fish in five seconds. Okay? All right. Now we're gonna do this kind of flay along the rib cage. Come on back. Once again, I haven't done this in like six months, so bear with me. I'm trying to give y'all a good angle. Be a good flayer and a good YouTuber at the same time. It's kind of hard. All right, there we go. So you're gonna work your way and literally fillet it open. Along those pin bones, as so. Can y'all see that? Okay, I think y'all can see that. Slowly open up your fillet. If you do it right, you're gonna get four fillets from this fish. There you go and we'll see the finished product. Now something else you can do, because the flounder is super slippery, is put a towel underneath it. But I don't want my wife killing me, messing up our towels for some flounder filet. Get that cut. There we go, y'all. So this is gonna be our first flounder filet. Pretty white meat. This is my favorite fish, hands down. Let's put this to the side. All right, so once you do have your flounder filet, all we have to do at this point is just skin it. So we just start at the tail and just start to work our way along the top of the skin. Real 
simple and smooth. There we go. Just like that. Got the pin bones. Throw our skin away. All right. That is our flounder filet. Super white meat, as you can see. Barely any kind of bloodline. Amazing piece of fish. All right, next up, y'all. So we have our flounder in a bowl here. We got a trusty little knife. We got some limes. And I'm trying to be fancy, so I got me a citrus squeezer. Never used it before. Let's try it. So let's just cut our lime. Wait, hold on. You want to kind of roll it a little bit to get them juices flowing. There you go. Let's cut a lime in half. Let's see if this citrus juicer works. Like so. There we go. Let's sit it in there. I got this citrus juicer at HEB for like $3.95. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I mess with it. I mess with it. Now, while I was looking up online, like how long you're supposed to soak your ceviche or your flounder, there's so many different, you know, I guess ways to make it. Some people are like, leave it overnight, soaking in your lime juice, right? Then there was other websites who say, they only do it for an hour. And some people say they prefer it just for 30 minutes. So how long are you supposed to soak your flounder in lime juice? Comment below and let me know. Cause I'm worried that if I do it too long, it's gonna mess it up. Cause overnight seems like way too long. But I'm also worried if I don't do it long enough, I'ma die. So what is that sweet spot, man? What is that sweet spot? All right, so far so good, man. I'm trying to see how many limes it's gonna take for one flounder. I got three out here. I got a whole bag, so we got plenty, just in case. There we go. Mmm, this lime smells good. It makes me want a margarita. Margarita. Oh yeah, I guess ceviche as well, on um, to me. It's like a Mexican dish. When you think about it, ceviche, I guess it is, is that like a Spanish term? What does ceviche mean in Spanish? But yeah, it makes total sense. Total sense. And I know a lot of people make ceviche with like scallops. Um, you can make it with shrimp, all kind of things, but I'm gonna try flounder first. All right, so I got enough limes, as you can see here. Three limes was pretty much able to cover my ceviche hole. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is wrap this up. I'm gonna do a little bit more Googling and see if I'm gonna let this soak for an hour to 30 minutes. Like I said, I don't wanna die for no YouTube video. Hold on, I'm lying. I will die for a YouTube video if it gets a million views. If I die, you gotta promise me, everybody watches this video, goes viral, I get a million views, okay? It'll be worth it, all right? All right, so yeah, let's wrap this up. We'll sit this in the fridge and we'll work on our other condiments. Yeah, be right back. All right, y'all, so it's been a little bit over an hour. Y'all, there is a lot of ceviche controversy about how long you're supposed to soak your fish in lime juice. There's a lot of people who say you need to do it overnight, right? There's some people say ceviche has to be three hours. Then I have some people say 30 minutes, all on the same post. So there's a gap between only 30 minutes to eight to 12 hours. That's a huge gap. So what I'm gonna do is just do an hour. Now, one of the things that they told me that you would wanna look for is opaque color. So the fish itself, I don't know if y'all can see that. I mean, it looks, it's not all transparent like it was prior, right? So it's kind of solid, so you can't see through it, so it's not translucent. Makes me think the acidity of the lime has quote unquote cooked it. So I'm going with it, man. So we're gonna try our. Now some stuff online said that if you do it too long, it tastes like pickle, okay? So we're just gonna transfer to the plate. Might have to pour some of that lime juice in here, we'll see. Here we go. 
So yeah, y'all comment below when you make ceviche, how long do you let it soak in your lime juice? Please let me know. Please let me know. Am I gonna die, y'all? All right, so let's gather our ingredients here. Let's see if we can just make this work. Got tomatoes, jalapenos. Let's get our onions and our cilantro. There we go. Yeah, this is so convenient. Somebody gave this to me and my wife for our wedding present. I think this is the first time I've ever used it, but you put all your vegetables in there, it just kind of cups up, and you just kind of, you know, pour it in. Like that, see that? So we're gonna pour our mixture in here. Put that to the side. All right. Next, we get a little grounded fresh pepper, of course. Definitely don't need no salt because all that lime in it, I like pepper, y'all, don't judge me. All right, so we're gonna slowly move our mixture around. And this is a lot, way more than I anticipated. It looks good. So yeah, this will be the first time I've ever tasted this before. Everybody swears it's good. I'm a little bit nervous. But we'll see. Stir it up, just a little bit more ground pepper. Just a tad, just a tad. Mix it in there. I don't think I wanna add any more tomatoes, cilantro. Oh, this is good. I think this is good. All right, so there's our ceviche, y'all. So what I'm gonna do now is um, we'll head to the table. I'll make my plate, we'll get the money shot, try it out. Let's go. All right, y'all, so there you have it. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks good. So I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm super nervous about trying this dish because anytime you're dealing with like raw fish, I don't know. I don't know. So let's test it out. Let us pray that Renell doesn't die eating ceviche. All right, here we go. I like that tostada, that tostada. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Let me tell you something. I was worried that the fish would taste fishy because you know it's raw flounder, quote unquote, just you know soaked in lime. But the flounder is just so fresh. I mean, you can barely even taste the fish. Hold on, let me take another bite. Mm. 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 Oh, that's bomb. That's really good, y'all. I love flounder. Like I say, it tastes really fresh. I mean, it should, because, you know, this fish was swimming in the ocean less than 24 hours ago. R.I.P. Floundy. The lime isn't like overpowering. Let's try a little hot sauce with it. You know what I'm saying? This is chula. Excuse me, y'all. Try a little hot sauce with it. Just a little bit, a little dab. See what it tastes like there. Right, a little hot sauce. Oh, oh my God. Okay. This is fire, y'all. 
This is fire, man. Now, I know they're saying you can cook it with, you know, trout, redfish, but I don't trust them now. I just don't trust them. Flounder is just such a fresh fish that if I'm gonna die from a fish, as long as it's flounder, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I can't be in heaven dying because I ate a gap top. Mm -mm. That's not the way to go. So what I want to do now is try with my chip. Try with my chip. Okay. We're gonna put a piece of avocado on there too. Okay, avocado. And a little chula hot sauce. So this is the trifecta, man. We got the hot sauce, avocado, the ceviche chips. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I did that, y'all. I don't mean to talk with my mouth full, but I did that. So check it out. And what would I bring to BJ? Now, so far on my channel, we did, you know, fish and chips with the sheep head. We did croaker versus sand trout. Um, we did trout, tacos. This right here, this is a 10. This is my first 10 on my channel. First catch and cook, that's a 10. First catch and cook, that's a 10. So look, man, if you never tried this, I would definitely recommend it. Um, like I said, the whole thing about how long you're supposed to soak it, I did an hour and it tastes perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's not too limey, um, it's cooked. Now granted, in my next video, if I'm dead, Maybe want to soak a little bit longer than an hour, but then again, if I post another video, I must still be alive. So do me a favor, y'all. If you like the video, smash the thumbs up button. I'm trying to get 200 likes, okay? 200 likes. Make sure you comment. Comment below. Talk to your boy. I'm gonna talk to you back. Share the video with your friends and family. And last but not least, hit the subscribe button. You made it this far. You must like me. All right. So it's been real, y'all. I appreciate the time and patience today. Other than that, peace. Am I still recording?